Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. And today we are going to learn how to use Fetch APIs in JavaScript. So a Fetch API provides a powerful and a flexible way of fetching resources from the server. As you can see in this tutorial, I have an API that I have created for my user to interact with. Within the API, I have different endpoints, have authentication, images, and users. So I'm going to show you how you can use Fetch API to fetch data from the users and even log it on the console. Right now, when I say fetch data, the response is null because as you can see from the users, the get, the get request, when I try it out, the response is empty. So we are going to create user and also fetch user. So I'm going to explain how the current code is working and then we are going to implement a new one. So as you can see, I have these options for get users. The method is get and how the header is application and JSON. These are sample user, username, first name, last name, email, active, date joint and password. Then this is options for posting users. We have post as the method and we have the body as users. So as users, so this is the users. And then I have to function, I have function post user and I have function fetch users. So we are going to start with post user. So what happens when you say post user, I'm going to hit this URL with the options for post user. This one method post header content type application JSON and then I'm going to have the response. Remember this response is a promise. So I'm going to check if the response is okay. I will log the response and then return response.json. Else I'm going to switch the status. If it's 404, I'm going to draw new error that is object not found. So on success, I'm going to log the data. On error, I'm going to catch the data and present the message. So let's see. If I land this one, let's save. So I have posted a user that is user run tech, first name ID 13. So if I go back to my API and try to fetch, I can see the user, username 13. We can try to create another user. Let's have user name is lantech one. First name, I'm going to add one 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 so let's see so we have another user with id 14 so let's see we have another user with username 14 and 13 so let's try the other method for fetching user This one now should display to users. So let's see. So we have the response with user ID 13 and 14. So we are going to create a new project and then we are going to see how we can be able to fetch and even be able to post a user. So I'm going to create a new file here. I'm going to name this one as save it. And I'm going to say users.html then within the users.html i'm going to have doc type html then i'm going to have html within the html i'm going to have scripts type json so the first thing I'm going to test is console.log and I'm going to say tag it's working. So let's see if we can be able to print that message on the console. So I'm going to have localhost, then I'm going to have users.html. Let's see on the console what we have. So we have tag and it's working. So the next thing I'm going to do is to do a fetch. So I'm going to have, let me console, 
fetch and the URL I'm going to give it is I want to fetch data from this endpoint and then I'm going to log this data or the promise that is returned from the fetch so let's see console dot log So let's learn again and see. Oops, if you have an error, let's say, okay, okay, okay. I get this on. Let's refresh. So as you can see, we have our promise here and the promise we are going now to get the data within it. So we are going to have, let me remove all this on. And then I'm going to paste it here. Dot then response. And I'm going to check if, remember still this response is a promise dot okay. Else, I'm going to console the data. So let's see, copy this one. Then I'm also going to have this one. So here I'm going to say, this is instead of tag, I'm going to say success. And I'm going to print the response dot status. Then here I'm going to have failed. And I'm going to have response dot status. So let's learn again and see. We have success with 200. Let's try to make an error here. So I'm going to add and see what it prints. We have 404, which means the object was not found. So I'm going to display the data that is found. I'm going to have once we have success, I'm going to return response.json. When we have an error, I'm going to have, I'm going to switch because we can have different errors. I'm going to have switch. And I'm going to switch response.status. So if the status is 404, I'm going to draw a new error. And I'm going to say object not found. Then I'm going to check the data within the promise when it's success and I'm going to console.log and I'm going to say my data here and I'm going to have data so let's see what we have so we have data our data is 13 and 14 because we have only added two users so let's do a catch when there is an error catch and i'm going to have error and i'm going to console and print the error message so i'm going to have error dot message so i'm going to change the url so that we can have an error let's see so we have data object not found actually let me change this one to error so we have error object not found because of this four form so that's how we do the get 
so we can have our options here let me create an option so we can have const and this is get options so remember in our initiative in our initial tutorial i had created two method that is post and fetch and each i was passing the the methods like we need to tell it this i'm going to have get and for this one for post i'm going to have post so i'm actually going to save time just copy this one because i've explained it so we have get user as method is get and headers is content type application.json and this one i'm going to pass it here save it and let's see oops it's failing because we have added some relative url that are not found so let's learn again we have success here so the other thing that i'm going to show you is how to post data so i'm going to call this one function post get user I should add here so I'm going to have another const here actually let me get get options and then I'm going to have this one for post options I'm sure I've already explained them so I'm going to say post options so for post the method is post the headers we have content type application json and the json body i'm going to have json dot string file user so in my user i'm going to have user here so the data that you post may differ depending on the requirement as you can see from the api when i want to post a user these are the data that are required username first name last name email is active date joined and even password it's the same data that i'm passing here so for this one i'm going to have learn tech 2 i'm going to have two two email i'm going to have two then i'm going to save that actually i can call this one user and then i'm going to create a method here so i'm going to have function and then I'm going to have post user. So you only need to copy this one and paste it here. Remember we are hitting the same URL and for this one I'm going to have post users as the options. Actually, for the other one, I'm going to have get users as the options. So, in the post user method, we have the URL, we have the options, and then we are listening to the response. If it's okay, we are returning response.json. If it fails, we are returning the status code with the message. So, let's try it and see. Right now, we are going to post user. So, let me call this method. So user number 15 and we have, we have learn tech 2 let's see what else we have we have 15 learn tech 2 learn tech 2 0 2 so when we go back to our api and try to fetch we have 15 14 and 13 we can try to create another one so i'm going to change this one to three 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 and then save it so we have 16 let's see from the our api and we have 16 so that's how you post users for now if i try our get let me remove this one and call this function so i'm going to have get users it's supposed to list for me the three users so we have the form we have 13 14 15 and 16 remember this data you can be able to display it 
in a data table. I'll do a tutorial on how you can do it on data table, how you can display the fetched data in a data table. So guys, subscribe so that you can learn how you can display this data on a data table. The other thing that I'm going to show you is how you can fetch a specific user. So let's see, we have this get user with an ID. So the ID we are going to pass. So let's go back to our and create another function. So I'm going to have the same function as get user, but this time I'm going to get a specific user. So I'm going to get get user by ID. And here I'm going to pass the ID. So let's remove this one. And I want to get user with ID. 16 which is land tech three. so i'm going to pass 16 here and then i'm going to call this method on create so i'm going to have it here so let's see we are expecting only one user 16 here we are with only one user 16 and the details. So if I need 15, the same thing, I'll only change this one to 15. And here we are, we have ID 15 and the details. So that's how you get the user by ID. And finally, I'm going to do a delete. Delete user by ID, so I'm going to copy this one, paste it here. Then I'm going to remove this one, and this one will be delete. Delete user by ID, and I'm going to call it here. So the options for delete, I'm going to change them. So I'm going to copy this one, paste it here, and I'm going to say the read options. This one should be the read. So I'm going to delete user number, let's see, delete by ID, and I'm going to delete user number 15. Let me save this one. So back to my tutorial, let's see. Oh, okay, something I didn't change. Delete, this one should be delete option. So let's learn and see. We have 204. 204 is a success one. So when I go here, I'm supposed to get 16, 14, and 13. There is no 15. It was deleted. If I want to delete 13, I just need to pass 13 here. Let's see. And then execute 204, which is a success. And then we shouldn't see 13. We have 16 and 14. So that's all, guys. Let's see what we have been able to do. So we have get options where the method is get we have the read we have post let me place this one here so we have post options we have get options and we have the read options this is for user it's a json for posting data we have our first method that is get user we are passing the url where I'm going to get users in the get options. I'm listening to the response, and then I'm showing either data or the error message. I'm getting user by ID. I'm also deleting user by ID. I'm also posting user. So that's all guys. I'll be able, I'll make a tutorial to demonstrate how you can be able to, to display this data in a data table. So remember to subscribe for more. So thank you for watching. If you are new, Kindly subscribe for more tutorials.